Because the shit we talk about is irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> There's the opening for the show. <laughs> Hey, every guy. Okay. <laughs> hey, every guy. <laughs> My brain does not want to work today. No girls allowed. No, no girls. <laughs> every guy's. <laughs> every guy's. Boys only. <laughs> Get out of my fort. <laughs> Everybody knows girls have cooties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you know your wife has cooties? Yeah. That's why I married her. Oh. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Gibberish. I am Blake. This is our giggly buddy, Adam. Giggly boy. <laughs> giggly boy. Uh, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Uh, we are here today with a very... You know, I'm not even going to say it, because I say it every time we, we do this. We always say it, but we always honestly, say it's special. this isn't really different. It's not, it's, it's, it's not different it's, or special. It's just something well, I noticed. Actually, no, everything is special, but <laughs> yeah, everything is special. this isn't really different. It is beer. <laughs> it is beer. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing some beer, but here's the thing. It is found, it's a beer that is not sort of like the Spotted Cow thing or like a New Glarus in Wisconsin. Uh, it's not widely distributed, but we are starting to see it in more like liquor stores and bars and some different locations, mm -hmm. uh, and that is the one and only Point Hazy Pebbles. It is a Fruity Hazy Milkshake IPA. My first introduction to this was I was taking a trip up to northern Wisconsin for a fishing trip with my family, and one of the stops was at Stevens Point Brewery. And it's a smaller brewery. It's not very lavish. It's not like a Toppling Goliath or the Anheuser-Busch um brewery nothing compares to anheuser -Busch. yeah that place is pretty impressive that this is incredible this is a much smaller um brewery but it is very historical i think it's one of the oldest breweries in the state of wisconsin oh that's pretty cool and uh they have a mascot the mascot is like a cone head type guy he's got then like up to a point like the and movie? so no but that's the first <laughs> thing i thought of too but he's a mascot and he has a point on his head and if you go to a bar and you see like one of their taps they're, you call what do you call them? The handles. I think it's just a tap. Just hole. a tap. Okay, I don't. I don't know. I think so. But um, a lot of their beer has the guy on the tap, and okay. he's like at the point. He's got the pointy head and everything, and he's holding. Can you a beer. just like walk into a random bar and just like go like this, and they know what you want. You're just like <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> point. It's code. It's code for give me a beer. <laughs> Um, if you want like this one, it's like obviously like it's after a cereal, so you go. <laughs> Are you eating? <them? laughs> oh God, how old is that reference? Anyways, uh, um, no. so what's it's a really neat place. They have a lot. They do a lot of stouts. They have a stout that I love. It's called PB Cup. It's a peanut butter cup stout. I would have never guessed. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it stands for pig bladder stout. Ah, perfect. Yeah, pig bladder is delicious. My favorite um, flavor. So, you know, they're very historic. They have a lot of cool different drinks. I've tried a bunch of them. This one I figured would probably be interesting. One, because it was easy to find. And two, I don't see a whole lot of other ones, you know, circulating right now. Other than, like, their regular point makes a their standard lager, which is a pretty good beer. I like it. It's a little different. Um, but the fun fact is, this is the same beer company that is in the movie Great Outdoors with John Candy and Dan Aykroyd. No shit. So all the great beer... Great movie. Yeah, great movie. <laughs> I love that movie. Get an old 96er. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you notice, like, the beer cans they have, and there's some signage that says Point. This is the same company. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. So... That's really cool. Yeah, I, like, it's just, it's that, it's kind of like a... A nostalgic thing sort of yeah but you never realized it until like you're a little bit older and if you've had this beer like oh point okay cool and then you so just by chance watch great outdoors and you're like right hey, that's point i've heard of that i've seen that but this is a hazy pebbles fruity hazy milkshake ipa um 6.2 abv not there's not a whole lot else on it other does than contain more. lactose so if you're lactose so intolerant you know. Don't drink this. Well, you can, but take your lactate beforehand. Which I don't know if you're allowed to drink with alcohol. Or not. I have no idea. The nice thing is, though, these are twist offs. That is a beautiful thing. So, ready? Nice little hiss, a little bit of the. 
I like the smell. It's sweet. It it's fresh. Really it's refreshing. It's I a, do like milkshake. The milkshake IPAs. I know Little Beaver, like near us, does a ton of milkshake IPAs, and they're mm -hmm. all phenomenal. But I'm intrigued because based on the bottle, this looks very clear. Yeah, I mean, which isn't really normal with a milkshake IPA. I've only had I've only had these in the bottle, so I never like poured one into a glass. I'm very intrigued. And I did actually bring some back that I wanted you to try, but I drank them before I could yeah. get them to you. That's <laughs> so. That smells really good though. But it's, it does have the hops in there. You can smell the hops, and you definitely. smell like the fruity pebble sort of deal going on a little bit. Yeah, you definitely smell a little bit of like. I, w I wouldn't say it smells like fruity pebbles, but it definitely has like a fruitier smell. Yeah, and it's not like it's not like a King Sue citrusy grapefruit orangey smell. No, not it's, at all. It's kind of hard. It's. I don't want to say candy because candy sounds too sweet. It, it's hard to describe a little yeah. bit, but maybe it'll open up a little bit when we pour it. We can get a little more. That is very, very light. Surprisingly light. Yep. It's a little. It's pretty clear for an IPA, yes. a milkshake IPA, if, if anything. It's got really good color. I'm trying to think of what the color I'm trying to compare it to right now is. Um, amber? I wouldn't say amber bock. No. I can't even think about it. Think of it. It's almost like a yingling color. Yeah. Yingling's a little cloudier. Yeah. It's but, not super cloudy, but it, it's not this cloudy. Ooh, it definitely... The smell definitely opened up a lot more. Now, it does. Now it does smell like Fruity Pebbles. Mm -hmm. It smells like Fruity Pebbles with hops. It was hard to get that like in the bottle, but now that you pour it out and like mm -hmm. kind of let it like fill a glass, it it definitely it reminds does me smell of, like Fruity Pebbles. It reminds me of a Saturday morning and cartoons were on, and I was a twenty five, <laughs> and I went and got made myself a bowl of Fruity, Fruity Pebbles. Pebbles is one of the best side note fruity pebbles is the best cereal it, i think it's one of the most underrated cereals it is, too it is the best cereal it's like there's nothing else like it other than maybe rice krispies but that as in like texture tex yeah yeah what i'm saying is texture and flavor wise cocoa krispies cocoa's cr ugh, man but fruity pebbles are so much better than cocoa krispies okay and one cocoa pebbles and whatever in one gross note when i was younger i was like we didn't have any milk for like cereal or anything but we had fruity pebbles and I'm like, man, there's nothing to put in my Fruity Pebbles. Just do water? No. Uh, oh, no. Orange I, juice? No. Oh, okay. I did Sprite. Ew. <laughs> because I thought, oh, Fruity Pebbles, Sprite, there's the lemony, citrusy smell of the Sprite. And I thought that would work. And I was like, I ate like maybe two bites. I was like, no, this isn't good. You're eating fizz, like, <laughs> <laughs> just no. I know. Water would have been a better choice. But, but the, thing, the thing is, like, when you're a kid... You know, flavor, you have no concept of flavors and what's really good and what's really bad and what's too much. You know what I mean? That just sounds terrible. Right. Well, All right. I'm excited to try this one, honestly. I think you'll like it. The taste isn't as exciting as the smell. Yeah. It tastes good, but I was honestly... I was ex I was expecting different, and that was that's kind of my fault. You got your hopes up. I'd say for <laughs> anticipating something, never anticipate anything. I was say it's not. This is definitely a good summer IPA. I don't know that I'm a fan. Really, I I mean after. You definitely get the taste of fruity pebbles mm -hmm. way after the mm -hmm. drink. But to me, when you're taking the drink, it's honestly, there's really no flavor other no than the hops. no flavor at all. It's just weird. Yeah, I'm just not really getting anything off it until the aftertaste. And it's just, when I'm expecting to drink something like this, like... When I see Milkshake IPA, I compare it to the other Milkshake IPAs, like the Wayne Bows from Lil Beaver and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And that's very flavorful from the drink to the aftertaste. Right. And this just doesn't have that. Right. And the aftertaste is very pleasant. Like, yeah. tasting the Fruity Pebbles later is very good. Yeah. I just... The start I, I is what... I wish it had more of a flavor to start yeah 
And that, that is something I noticed with this too. There really isn't too much flavor at the beginning, but... You definitely get an aftertaste of Fruity Pebbles. Yes. And it's... But it's I always... Good, but... I always found this to be real... When uh, I was in Wisconsin, I got a, a six-pack of this, and we had taken them out on the boat while we were fishing and stuff, you know, having a drink or two. It was warm, you know? I mean... Well, the thing is, it was in late September, and it was warm, which is weird for northern Wisconsin. Did it happen to be the 21st night of September? Well, I remember. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and I took this out, and, like, it's a really, me personally, I find it a very refreshing summer beer. Like, it's warm out. It, and it's, the thing is, it doesn't feel too heavy of an IPA. It's definitely it's a not, very it's light IPA. It's definitely not heavy. But I feel, but, but the I fact wonder that if, like, because they're slacking on how heavy it is, that they're losing a lot in flavor. It's a possibility. It's quite a puzzling beer. It is. I like it. It gets better the more you drink it because the aftertaste from before is still kind of lingering around, and then you take another drink, so it's better. Right. But based on my initial taste, I just I can't say I'm really. A too fan. much of a fan. Yeah. I get it. It's okay. I would be intrigued to try some of their other stuff, though. They do have some really good beers other than just this. Okay. You know, I find their point, their standard lager, their standard uh, point lager, it, it's like it's like their Bud Light, but it has more flavor than it's the Bud like Light. like their Bud Light. Well, but it's and what we're it, back to Bud Light, folks. Well, you know what I mean. I, I, you know, yeah, it's I like, agree. this is their standard. Yeah. And then they have the other stuff, but it's a pretty, it's a little more flavorful than a Budweiser for like a standard beer, if you know okay. what I mean. Yeah. Well, I think the last thing left is chuggability. Mm-hmm. I think I might need to clear out a little more space. I cleared out a lot of space. Give it a little more real estate. But I really do, I like this beer because it's... It's okay. The, it has a very satisfying aftertaste. It is, and it's I feel like this. Sad. I feel like this is very also. I've, I've brought you. I've brought you so many IPAs that I really like, mm -hmm. that are like, very, but are, they're very mild and subtle, except for yeah. like the V two K was like, you know, it had good flavor, but it was missing those things in an IPA you like to have in an right. IPA, and and I give you all the very hop heavy, yeah, and all that, and you're not a huge fan of that. Well, it, it, the only hop, super hop heavy one was the double dry hop, yeah, but like everything else you've recommended, I'd be like, this is really good, <laughs> so. Well, to not saying tomorrow. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean by that, Adam? <laughs> you just grab the old pepper rye and smack me over the head with it. <laughs> and then you make me drink it. <laughs> yes, you just force it down your throat. Ready? Go. Very easy to chug for an IPA. Um... I don't feel like it, obviously it wasn't very heavy, so it was, there was not a lot to it. It didn't feel like I was getting like super full during the chug. Yep. And when um, you, and when you burp, you taste fruity pebbles. Say, I'm not, I, I'll be honest, through that chug, I got no taste. Yeah. I didn't get, I didn't zero get, zero taste. I didn't get any taste either. And, um, the only, like I said, the only thing that I'm tasting is because of the carpet, the, the bubbles in the, mm -hmm. in the beer. And is it, I'm burping up the remnants of it i'm getting the flavor so it's I'm definitely very... a very aftertaste beer not a taste this now beer you know what i mean after chugging it though i gotta say i'm, I'm not getting the fruity pebble taste after chugging it yeah it's just it's weird well that's what i said I, I said i'm only getting that because i'm burping it up yeah you know i I'm really I'm honestly kind of disappointed. Yeah. Um, I, I felt like based on the smell and everything, I, I thought it was going to have a lot more flavor to it. And I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't. Or it doesn't. I, I tried to mix doesn't and didn't together. And I was, I didn't. Said, didn't. Didn't. <laughs> didn't. <laughs> it doesn't. I say. I mean, it has a little bit of a special place in my heart, just as the beer itself, because I've been to the brewery twice. So, Adam, I will go ahead and you go ahead and give your uh, final rating on this. You won't break my heart, trust me. I'm at a 175. 175? Very underwhelming for you? Very underwhelming. I felt like I, I had high expectations for it. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I guess that could be kind of to blame is like put high expectations on it and it just didn't quite meet them. Mm -hmm. But overall, I just not impressed. I just not. It was really no just doesn't flavor. do any. Just doesn't just do anything really for you. Really no flavor to it. So right. Yeah, I'm at one seventy five. Um, I'm going to give it about a two and a half. I mean, it, and that's like just in the middle, mm -hmm. you know, like I'll have one every now and then, but I'm not going to go out of my way to get them all the time. Yeah. You know, and I, like I said earlier, I like this as a summer beer sure, because it's easy to drink casually. Um, you know, it's not super, it's not heavy, it's light. And especially for an IPA, it's a light IPA. Mm. And I do find like the aftertaste very enjoyable. So, I mean, that's my take on it. And also, I'm kind of privy to point in their brewery. I do like the uh, label, though. The label's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. That's why I kind of also... It's misleading. Yes. <laughs> very exciting for very underwhelming. But I will say, don't be afraid if you find something from Point. Don't be afraid to go check it out or try it. Um, I do think they have great products, great beer. Um, and there's nothing really else I can say. I mean, I, th I think they're a great underrated brewing company. So, fair enough. Yep. I guess that's about it for this episode. Uh, please like, share this video, subscribe, and tell follow. your friends. Tell your friends, them. your family, your dog, your neighbor, your boss, your co workers, the homeless man down the road. Yeah, yeah. Tell them all. Tell them all. They need to know. They need to know this information. They need to know. And you're not doing your part if you're not telling them what they need to know. Yes, exactly. Also, follow our other social media accounts, Instagram yeah. and TikTok. Yeah. You'll find it below in the link tree or in the description. <laughs> You'll find our link tree to yeah. all of our other social medias. Yep. We do really stupid stuff sometimes. Sometimes. Well, mostly me. Mostly on demand. <laughs> mostly on demand. <laughs> what is this, a pay-per-view sort of deal where yes. it's like $20 pay-per-view? Yes. <laughs> I guess with that. I'm Blake. And I am Adam. Give me a beer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs>